I don't think I ever would have gotten to lighting if it hadn't been for my music. I was a chick singer in the band and I was always carrying around my own PA systems and just wanted to know how it all worked. When I moved to Nashville in 1994 to be a country music star, I got a job at Opryland as a spotlight operator. Little did I know that that was going to be the birth of my lighting career. The whole hog had just come out, the whole hog console platform. The park actually owned the console. So in the afternoons when everybody else was going to ride and rides in between shows or reading a book in the green room, I was out there just, wow, this is cool playing on this console. So I started to realize that, you know, I was starting to really enjoy this. You know, I was starting to get a passion for doing lighting. Lighting makes such a difference in a concert. If you went to a concert and it was just your house lights on the whole time, there's something different. The color and movement has such an impact on the music and bringing it to life. I and mean, you're not distracting from the artist that's singing, but you're enhancing the whole experience and your senses and the visual experience, and it makes a big difference. Lighting, to me, is still performing just from the other side. When I get these big, giant looks and go, wow, that looks incredible, and all of a sudden, a big build in the song comes, and it's like, boom. It's just like, I get goosebumps and go, yeah, I did that, you know? <laughs> I do have a career that allows me to still you know, pursue my passion of music. But I'm not a struggling musician anymore. Lighting has actually led me full circle back to music because now the lighting funds my music. But I still want to do my music and I still want people to hear it and, f and hear my stories and feel what I'm singing and still emote that and lighting allows me to do that. That to me is cool.